of Defying Gravity. Previously on Defying Gravity. The flight of Antares, a grand tour of the solar system. I think the obvious question is simply what the hell happened? We don't really know. One minute we're on the mission, the next minute we're off. I'm having a dream about this mission. And? You and I are both on it. And AJ, will he be coming back on the floor? Goss wants to do a thorough psyche valve. And if he passes? He won't pass, Rowley. You know I want babies with you, don't you, Rowley? Plenty of time for that when you get back. Do you have any? I've had a vasectomy. If he's telling you he had a vasectomy, then he's telling other women the same thing, and he should be outed immediately. Well, what do you know, Eve? Beta knows. We need you to visit Pod 4, honey. It chose you. Maybe it'll give you an answer. With Ted. Heart rate spiking to 190, BP 230 over 110. Heart attack? Not yet, but I can get Avram to run no. a scan and we handle this without him. Excuse me, but it's my responsibility to make sure Stand that. Stand down, Doctor. This is ours. Ted. Are you there? Come in, Ted. <laughs> Switch to COM 4. He's not answering. I've always believed that doors are meant to be opened. That's why they have hinges and knobs. You put up a barrier and somebody's gonna walk through it. That's human nature to want to know what's on the other side. And to ignore the obvious catch. Doors are there for a reason. Yo. I'm done in a sec if you want to run. Ted. Ted. Admit it, it's a breakfast burger from Momo's. I can smell the bacon. Jen, I feel fine. They're monitoring me. Babe, you're sick. They've got you on thinners, for God's sakes. So, what are you doing there? You working on the rapid embryos? You're changing the subject. Answer the question. <laughs> it's a special project for me and you, okay? It's a surprise. What's Ted doing? He settling in? Hey, he's fine. So far, we're on course, no speeding tickets. It's not you, Raleigh. I know. But he left a wife and kid back here. There's a lot being thrown at him right now. The crew should go easy. Roger that. Just look out for him, will you? Of course I will. You were in pot four. I saw Mars, Eve. Mars. I was there. Are you stable now? You're gonna be fine. Does it do this? I was trying to tell you something. Has it happened to you? Just me and one other person. I have wanted to tell you everything. You have no idea how hard it's been. You are my wife. And I was ISO before that. Ted, this wasn't my call. You have to believe me. I need you to go back. Go back? No, this isn't about us. It's trying to communicate with you. It's chosen you, just like it chose me. Okay, Forum 24 for today. That is Astro speak for daily schedule. My fifth graders from Burnaby, British Columbia. Zoe and Paula, you'll run the lander through guidance, navigation, and control. Jen? Uh, ongoing fertility experiments. Phosphorylation and microgravity. Oh. Sperm move faster up here, kids. Oh. And you, Donna? Uh, well, 
boss run down and find the leak in the Venus suit. Eso es muy importante. Up here, safety comes first. Evram, status on psych evals? Door is wide open. Any takers? Dr. Mintz is our doctor and resident psychiatrist. Life on Antares is a big adjustment, so it's especially important that we share. Steven, you'll continue your proton velocity report. Right after jello shots and origami. And I'll be on the flight deck with Ted. If we can find Ted. I think he's in the shower. He'll be down. Uh, Paula, you OK? I'm sorry. G sickness. Whoa. Hello. Space cookies on the loose. Thus concluding the morning meal. Nice of you to join us. You got it, too? I'm fine. Hey, oh, Raleigh asked me to look out for you. He sensed you might need an ear. That's very big of him. That's a commander thing. Friend thing. But whatever. I'm here if you need me. Six years is a long time. Is she sure she wants to open that door? Pilots Reed? Bell is a fancy name for Gartner. Oh, I was splicing jeans while you were still playing with dolls, friend. Well, I still play with dolls. Is that so? Hey, beautiful day. Oh, it's gonna rain. Well, rain's nature's way of wiping the slate clean. A leading cause of mold, flooding. And pessimistic blonde ass cans. Look, I don't know why we can't just be. What? Oh, cordial. Cordial? Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe more than cordial. Cordial is as far as I go. Any particular reason for that? Aren't you the guy with the I don't date astronauts rule? Yeah. I mean, technically. I mean, why flirt with someone who technically you can't even ask out for dinner? It's a rule worth keeping, Donner. And it's my rule, too. They're called halos. Like what angels wear? Stupid acronym. Halo? Hormone-activated libido oppressors. First used in prison systems to curb the appetites of sexual offenders. We're using them now for extended missions. Which we want to do because? Sexual urges destabilize the coworker bond, causing lapses in judgment. In other words, relationships are toxic. You can have sex without a relationship. Yeah, but we'd prefer you had neither. To that end, your assignment is to wear your halos for a period of 24 hours to get a sense of how they'll function behind the ear, Mr. Fossenwelder. It's Wassenfelder. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna switch with me? Give me your help. Thousands of years of reproductive evolution wiped out with a tiny green dot. How do we know what they put into these things? Hormone weirdness can affect the fetus. Will you stop with the fetus? Zoe, it's not an option. We can't have a baby right now. Especially not Maddox Donner's. While we believe it's a safer alternative to the messy side of cohabitation, as with all medical procedures, I must advise you of its detractors. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, that was funny, but I think this is effective. Yeah. So, thanks for shrinks. So, you did tell me. Help you, sir. Yes, I'm AJ Sharma. I'm the flight engineer, former flight engineer of the Antares. You might recognize me. Yes, sir. 
Yes. Uh, my credential seems not to be working. Please have a seat, sir, and I'll call in and see what I can do. I'm sure, it'll be fine if you just let me in. I Please can... have a seat, sir. Queen of the Upchuck, mistress of Heave. When my door is closed, that means I have intentionally put up a barrier for my privacy. And? And if you wish to move through that barrier, you would need to ask for my permission. Yes is not permission. Who is it is not permission. The only thing that will give you permission to enter are the words, please come in. But you, Stephen, you are only going to get as far as who is it. Because after I hear your name, I am bolting the door. So you want me to leave? Get out. Get out. OK. So Paula's not doing the GNC with you? Well, the last thing we need is vomit in the Venus lander. Yeah, the Odex never got to smell the same. Who's their alt? You know damn well who the alt is. STD. Sexy, tragic dog. AKA the clap. <laughs> I'm never going to shake this guy, am I? Uh, not for the next six years, no. <sighs> you know, there's this line you cross with men. You can be colleagues, then friends, then lovers, but can you go back? I mean, does that line work in reverse? Emotional rewind? I don't know. Yes, you do. I mean, you and I are both rewound completely. We both moved on. Ted. Donner, we're done. Halo secure. Halo secure. Hey, Ted. You all right? You, uh... Seem a little off today. Yeah, maybe a little. Huh. Well, I'm gonna head back to the lander bay for the GNC. Paula's still G-sick. Right, you're the alt. Yeah. Listen, there's gonna be a lot of back and forth today with control. I might need you there for it. Well, if I'm not there, Nadia will be. Well, I'd rather have you. You sure you're all right? <sighs> Maybe just a little deja vu, that's all. It's a new mission, Ted. It's not Mars. Roger that. You know, they're so concerned about our libidos. What about the halos for everything else? See, this thing might have worked when I was in ninth grade. Maybe. Halo versus the machine, right? What can I say? There's a whole lot of Ted. It's really itchy. It, I feel like it's red. Is it red? I don't need chemical castration to do my job. Well, the guys do. Yeah, they actually think they can beat it. We can put a man on Mars, but we can't find a way to kill his erection. Well, we have. Trust me, I've seen the studies on these things. And the only two results are limp and limper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> have they grown breasts yet? No, they think they can beat the halo. A male's sexual weakness is second only to his stupidity. Meaning? I think we can make some money on this. The rules are simple. If one of you big, strong astronauts can overcome the halo, rise to the occasion, pitch a tent, then you win. But if you stay limp, sad, and small, then we win. <laughs> All right. Who's the bank? That would be me. Cha-ching. Don't do it. It's a sucker's bet. I've seen the studies. 50 large on the one-eyed monster. 50, double down. 50, there's another 50, but we picked a place in time. All right, bring it out. Any up, boys. Nice. Anyone else? Any other takers? Looks like we are in business. Mm -hmm. Good for you, Paula. AJ, spot me. Come on, any more takers? Gambling brings on many miseries. Erodes a man's good name. Screw that. These babies are calibrated for size, average astronaut size. I can win this. Perhaps. I would still prefer okay, look. not to get... Think of it as a bonding thing. Becoming an astronaut rather than a geek. Geek? You're a geek. Geek, that's what everybody's saying. You're a geek. 
This is against my better judgment. We're in. All right. <laughs> is it cool? Don't touch me. Sorry? Yeah, good. <laughs> Gyro sensor is engaged. Moving on to page seven. Roger that. Page seven. A landing sequencer engaged. I could have done that. I'm the pilot. I'm the alternate pilot. Yeah, that's the pilot for today. DAP activated. Preparing lander for tertiary landing site. What's that? It's a glitch in the digital autopilot. The landing navigation system's gone to the tertiary site. The DAP's automatically calibrated for the primary. Not according to the guidance module. Look, the numbers don't sync with the ship. If GNC sends us to a different site on the day, the mission is toast. Forget the mission, you and Paul are toast. Um, all right, might be the trajectory control sensor. Might be. Do you want to check it out yourself? Yep. All right, I'm the all. Well, <laughs> which is why you missed a step. I don't think so. Why don't we just hit reset, Donner, and start from the top? Control, but we're going to do a hard reset and uh, go to the top of page seven. Copy that. Excuse me. Preparing lander for tertiary landing site. Well, it seems the lander has made up its mind. It wants to kill us. Are you seeing something we're not seeing? Something funky, Raleigh. The system switching us to the third landing site. The override's not working. Shouldn't be doing that, not now. It might be an ESP micro search. You check the DAP config? Affirmative, and we hard reset three times. I'm going to switch it over to manual, take a system check, and maybe I can isolate the bug. Uh, hold off on that for now, Donner. Ted, are you in the loop? Negative control. I'm on the flight deck and have been following. Hey, Nadia, you know where he is? Maybe doing his psyche valve with mints? All right, look, we don't need Ted for this. I can do a manual check from here. You have AJ down there. He helped design the damn thing. Oh, hold on a second. AJ's not an option. Is this beta scroll on us? I don't know. I don't think so. You know where Ted is? He's processing. He's been through a lot. Well, he's got to get over it and handle Donner. We can't have him digging in the lander's code. Uh, Donner, this is flight. Listen, we are going to power down the lander. Let it sit for a day and reboot. That's your solution? You're going to hit the off switch and pray? Look, I got a retriever at home with the crew, and I've been stuck in board meetings all day. The lander is fine. Yeah, tell that to Zoe and Paula when they're trying to land it. Powering crossbow down now. Maybe Paula will have better luck. Well, I hope so. You going to talk to Ted? Yeah, I got it. Hey, where the hell were you? I've been here. Well, we just ran GNC. I asked you to be up on the flight deck. Nadia was there. Nadia's not the mission commander. She can't say Jack to Mike Goss. We'll talk later. No, let's 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 talk about it now, okay? I got I got a serious glitch with this landing sequence. I think I can find it if they'd let they me go find after it. it. Yeah, well, they shut the lander down. Ted? I'm sure they have their reasons. What? I'm sure they had their reasons, Donna. Let me finish this. <coughs> Paula, you all right? Leave me alone! You got a couple head cases in crew quarters. Get on it. How'd it go? The landing sequence is screwed up. We rebooted three times, and they finally shut us down. Mm. Now tell me how it went. Fine. That's it? Fine? That's it. It was professional and cordial. Cordial. In a very professional way. Mm. Well, excellent. You don't believe me. I believe you. And I'm proud of you. Good. Despite the fact you're wearing two halos. She's most agile. Four-letter word for manhood. W-W-A-S-S. -S. You've overcome the mighty halo. Feeling a twinge. 
Give me a little girl on Watts action, and that cash is mine. Hormone inhibitor kicked in about an hour ago, working its way from the amygdala region of his brain down into his bloodstream. So. It's like Big Ted's Little Ted. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna take this thing off. No, you don't. Not with my money, you're not. Come on, focus right, up, right. Kiki. Listen, this is like a race, okay? I want you to think of it like a long, hard race. I'm leaving. No, 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 no. No way. No way. Come on, we're making a point here. All right, this whole Halo thing, it's about evening the field. It's about gender neutralizing. They can hack it, so can we. But don't you get it? This isn't just a stupid bet. This, this is war. It's pathetic. Fine, think of it as cultural then. It's a voyage to an unknown planet. Planet exploitation. Tell me these women go home feeling a sense of pride. They're being humiliated. So it's less humiliating to put on the wounded good girl act so a man will pay attention? Excuse me? Come on. I see the way you look at Donner, hoping he'll glance over here. If you want him, go. Get him. Oh, you are sadly mistaken. Yeah, the last thing she needs is to get involved with Captain Limp and the Noodle Gang. Then you won't mind if I switch teams for a while. What? You're gonna go help them beat us? No. I just like getting naked. Oh, my God. Is she even human? Oh, sweet mama. Thank you. She's not interested in you, Steve. Don't be such a tight ass. Nodia, Nodia, Nodia. She's an F. This is game over right here. Nodia. Don't go for it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. What is this? Is it set up? Is that a set up? Can I go now? Hell yes. All right. Are you going to be okay? No. Yes, I'm fine. Just tired. Uh, you know what? I, I surrender. Yeah, this is good. too good. I can't. I can't beat this. Come on, yeah, give the young guys a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, you know. Ah, come on, Maddox. Maddox. In your dreams. Age. Respect. We have a winner. We have a winner. They just told me you were out here. I'm sorry. Um, I brought some of the stuff from the locker. Crew suit. I heard they put you in research. I was permitted to pick up the keys to my flat in my mail. But my gym card was revoked. <laughs> yeah, well, the upside of heart plaque sanctioned sloth. I haven't been able to make myself go back in to my apartment to unpack my boxes. When I left, when I packed them, I was an astronaut. You're still an astronaut, AJ. I'm in research now. You know, I never realized how much I treasured the connection to this place, the people sense of belonging. Nice night. It's, uh, just felt a drop. Never the pessimist. Not much back there to cheer me up. Nah. Nobody ever got smart from drinking. No, FYI, this bus only comes here on the hour after 10. Yeah, I can't afford to take cabs. No. Nah. I used to play ball when I was a kid. 
Yeah, I used to get up every morning at six o'clock to go throw with my dad. I was gonna be the greatest pitcher Cedar Rapids Little League ever saw. And were you? I fell off a jungle gym and broke my arm three days before the tryouts. Little League had a, a rule, no broken bones, no exceptions. But I went anyway, because I figured that uh, they'd look, see past the cast, and, you know, see what really mattered, that I had heart. I wanted to play. They let you try out? No, I had a broken arm. But, uh, but I showed up. So your point is, rules are rules, no exceptions. That doesn't mean I can't take you out to dinner. You know, I mean, as colleagues or something. Actually, Donner, I think it does. Stud baby, swipe it, collect it, learn to respect it. Show me the money, honey. He did it. He got one. What happened to Limp and Limper? Hey, the test studies didn't have Nadia giving lap dances. I barely looked at him. They say science is the great leveler. There's no decency. There's no ethics. Hey. Yo, all a puke. I think maybe it's a good time to go home. Roger that, because I am broke. You want to share a cab? Only if you're buying. I actually, I wanted to ask you some questions about your last paper. The functional genomics, the N2 fixings of... Filamentous, filamentous cyanobacteria? You, no. you read that? Yeah, I did. It was fascinating stuff. Really? I mean, because, I mean, nobody. Nobody read that. Well, I also know you like pie. Cafeteria gossip. Mm. And I know a great place on the way. Sure. Yeah, why not? Ken, uh, we're moving the party over to Major Tom's, and the guy's mine. Oh. Uh, you know what, man? I think it's, it's an early day tomorrow. Come on. Well, you sure? Well, you want to go? Well, if the boys are buying, yeah. <laughs> You know what? I am gonna make sure Polly gets home. All right? Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Something's clearly wrong with him. The whole crew knows it. I mean, he's not talking to Mince. Donner can't get through to him. Donner can. I guess Raleigh's right. It's gonna fall to me. He's withdrawn. He's introspective. It's not unusual when confronting the universe. Physically, he's fine. And Paula? She's in her quarters. You know, she's not drinking enough. I'm pushing liquids. Paradoxically, I wish I were drinking more. Are you wearing your medication patch? My withdrawal symptoms are under control, doctor. Je m'ennuie de toi. I miss you too. It's a lonely planet without you. I always face the unknown alone. The astronaut's genome analysis. Thank you. It's a virtual impossibility that all eight of the Antares crew have the same euchromatic and heteromatic gene variations. What are you suggesting? I'm not suggesting anything. The crew's physiology is changing, lining up like points on a grid. I know something up there is causing this. Cause the plaque that grounded Raleigh and AJ is probably causing the crisis with Ted right now. Something's happening, and I need to know why. There'll be no going back, Claire. Once you open this door, 
you can't close it. Do you understand? Analyze the genome of this. My name is not Paula Puke. My name is Paula Morales. And Paula Morales does not get G-sickness. Paula Morales will pilot the Venus lander. Paula Puke doing her variation of the dry heave in B-flat minor. They should build these things with thicker walls. Tell me you have it, too. No, I'm fine. I just need to walk. Is it me, or is everybody on this ship crazy? You can see the moons of Jupiter. Ganymede. Europa. Callisto. Never gets old. And that on day four? Yeah, around the same time, congestion, backache, and insomnia begin to work their magic. Mm, loss of appetite and nausea. Mm, and don't forget about the mental jujitsu. Anxiety, excessive fear of danger, my favorite, paranoia. All normal things, Ted. I mean, they're expected. Just the way to get through all of this is to open up to the rest of us. And you don't have to go through this alone. I'm afraid I do, Jen. Donner? You hearing this too? Yeah. He's running. It's the lander. Dark for 24 hours before I reboot. They were programming it without us. You're all the same. You're one of them. Yes. It's happening to me too. What's going on?
water. Stephen. Not playing that game. I got my boundaries, baby. Remember those? Please. Ted. Come on, open up. All right, so Mission Control reprogrammed the lander last night. Without bothering to tell us, we're going to be looking at brand new code. You know, I don't know what your problem is right now, but, uh, you know, if I can't help you with... You pull an all-nighter? I got inspired, you know, bunny stuff. Thank you. Ted's in his quarters, and he won't come out. Hmm. Yeah, I talked to him last night. You talked to Ted? Raleigh asked me to. Be a friend. Well, he is going through a lot. So, how'd it go? Well, if he's hiding out in his room, apparently not that well. That wasn't the question. Fine. I mean, it went fine. It was professional and cordial. Which is why you're wearing two halos. I hear we're going to have to adjust your dosage, Mr. Sharma. Um, you should be aware that that has caused me itching, uh, which has led to a great deal of itching. Halos are useless. Wasted resources. And why is that, Doc? That's never just about the sex. It starts that way. It's always more. Oh, oh my God. Hey, Pilot. Hey, Gardner. Did 5K, it's not bad for a hangover. 5K? Yeah. Well, I got 2K and a, and a nap in the park. So listen, by last night, I, I, I did have a little bit to drink. And... Don't sweat it. Coworker immunity. You didn't say what I didn't hear. Professional courtesy? Exactly. So we'll stick to the rule? The rule. It's what we want, right? All right, well, I, I, uh, I should probably... Sure. All right. How's Ted this morning? Where is he? In his quarters. He won't come out. Tell me, buddy. People are concerned. So is that what I'm feeling? Last thing he wants is a shaky crew. I'm fine. You're hiding in your quarters. Don't sling that bullet at me. The Antares mission was my mission, and it's my moral responsibility to make sure my replacement is doing me proud. So what's really going on, Ted? You feeling alone up there? You scared about what you're learning? Maybe this is about betrayal. Being hurt by the one person you thought you could trust. Well, you want to know how to deal with that? I'll tell you, bro. You suck it up. And if you're lucky, stupid, damn lucky, one day that wound stops bleeding. You'll always know it's there, but you won't always have to look at it. Not always. Not every day. And you'll consider yourself blessed. So get your act together, Ted. There are seven other people up there depending on you, and one of them is my wife. My wife. Take care of her. Who 
The lander is back online. Mission Control won't be pulling that crap again. Us can hear. Was the last time you checked on Paula? A couple hours ago. She wasn't letting anyone into her bay. She's not the doctor, Mintz. I want her up and running and on that lander tomorrow for the GNC. Who woke him up? Don't know. Sure kicked our asses, though. It's true that some doors are better left unopened. But you usually don't realize it until you're on the other side. Nice and easy. I've killed men for less. We all make mistakes. It comes with the territory. Still no reason to live your life in one room. Are you sure you're okay? I'm going in. I love you. The doors we choose to open determine the path of our lives. Be they brave. Angry. Foolish. Painful. We're defined by what we do. By where we go. And you can't go anywhere. without opening the door. Defying Gravity is back again next Thursday at 9. Still to come tonight, though, it's Wonderland over on BBC Two now. And here on BBC HD, stay with us for Michael McIntyre's Comedy Roadshow.